Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and welcome to today's vlog. So today we have gotten the cow milking done. I have just come out here and put the calf, um, his halter back on because he got it off somehow. And then I've tied him up because we're working on halter breaking him. So he's tied up. I'll leave him here for like 30 minutes or so and then maybe walk him around a little bit and then let him go and be done with that for the day. But I have green beans to can today and some just little projects to work on. Luke's taking Sophia um, to our friend's house to help them with some things. And Sophia's going to get to play with her kids. Um, but I'll have Vivian and Demi here with me. Anyway, so not, not a time going on today. Luke's doing his workout now and he'll leave later. So I'm just going to start working on stuff and I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. fun kind of learning. Hilda, stop. What do you guys see? What? What? Oh, I see. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. Go get him. It's been really fun learning all the ins and outs of milking. It, I am actually really surprised at just how much I love it. I love having a cow. I don't think I'll ever not have a cow again. And I'm already planning what kind of cow I want to get next, and it's definitely a sickness, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. She's so sweet, and it makes me so happy to go out and milk her every day. It's like one of my favorite times of the day. So we're we're like falling into a really good routine. She's letting her milk down now. We get almost three gallons when we milk together, when me and Luke milk together. Um, and we do milk together every morning when he's home. And then any days he's gone, 
Um, he's been helping his dad lately, but any days he's gone and I milk by myself, I get about two and a half gallons. So I get half a gallon less just because it's obviously a little slower. One person milking versus two, so I don't think that's terrible. At least it's not like cut by half since there's only one person instead of two, but I'm pretty happy with the amount we're getting from her. I think it's less than the lady was getting last year, but she was using a milking machine and that's just more effective than hand milking, especially for newbies like us. We are AIing Charlotte next month, which is crazy because I feel like she just had her calf. I'm already gonna um, breed her in the next month or two, but really with dairy cows, that's what they're made for and it's actually worse for them if you don't breed them right away. It gets harder and harder to breed them. Um, you just want, you want them to have a calf once a year at the same time. So um, we're AIing her because that's worked well for her in the past and then I can get a lot more specific with the bull that I choose. So I, after, Days and days of deliberating over what bull I wanted. I finally picked one yeah. from ST Genetics. Um, I picked a Guernsey bull. So um, Guernsey, from what I've read, they've got a really high butter fat content in the milk, so lots of cream. They're, um, they seem similar to Jerseys, but without all the problems that come with the Jersey breed. Like Jerseys are just so prone to health issues health issues and mastitis and milk fever and things like that so I knew I didn't want to add any more jersey in Charlotte's already half jersey half brown swiss um so I'm adding Guernsey in and I'm so excited about it. this is the bowl that I picked so he looks really cool and then this is what his mother looked like so really pretty Guernseys um, and I don't know if I can say certain words on here, but basically I picked the stuff that you order that will make it where it's 90% chance that it's a heifer because we want to keep this half Guernsey, quarter Jersey, quarter Brown Swiss as our next milk cow. So uh, as long as it takes, we'll have a heifer next year that we're going to keep as our adding in our milk cow. I'd like to build up more and more milk cows because this is so much fun for me. Um, I do want to eventually add Normandy because that's a really wonderful dual purpose breed. Um, so that would be really awesome. So, but that's what we picked this year. So next month we'll be AIing Charlotte. I'm very excited. I really hope it takes. AI is just a little less effective than using a live bull. And then when you have the certain type that makes it more likely that it's a heifer. I think that's even a little less um, likely that it'll take just a little less success, but um, I bought 10 straws, so we've got a few chances. <laughs> so, really excited. So anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we've been working on lately, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.